Thanks, Mark. Kevin Fox is the writer and producer of the hit television series, Lie to Me, and now he's written his first novel, Until the Next Time. The book combines romance and adventure as the past comes alive in the present. When a young man gets a diary left to him by an uncle, he sets out to find the truth about the man's fate. Our own Becky Anderson talks with Fox in this week's edition of Authors Revealed. It's Authors Revealed. I'm Becky Anderson. We're so excited. We have Kevin Fox here with his first novel, a beautiful love story set in Ireland. It's called Until the Next Time. Kevin, welcome to Anderson's and to Naperville. Thank you very much. You nice know what? I know this book has only been out one week, exactly today, right? Yes. It came out on Valentine's Day. Yes, absolutely. Which is, which is so appropriate because it really, it is a love story, but there's a lot more to this book. Yeah, yeah. it's absolutely a love story. And yeah. I don't, the book wouldn't work, I don't think, without the love story. Yeah. But, uh, you know, as somebody told me, it's a very down-to-earth, blue-collar love story. So it doesn't oh. get sappy. So I think I kind of like that. So the Irish lore and everything, you know, this, this book really is about story. Where, where did the germ, where did that little spark come from that got this story going for you? Well, it, it's, it's a couple different places, but my grandfather, Michael Nolan, um, the, he actually was born and raised on the island of Inchmore that okay, exists in the book. I was wondering. If yeah, he, okay. um, and okay. he fought in the uh, War for Independence right. from England, mm -hmm. and he, the Black and Tan War, and he also fought in the Civil War that followed, and then came over to this country. Oh, okay. He would tell these stories about the Black and Tans and the British coming to the island to get him when he was 13, and he had to flee, so he needed to hide from the English, and he went to London and became a baker, which seems like an odd place to hide yeah. from the English. Yeah, right. And we didn't believe any of it until I went back to Ireland with my mother. And um, we ran into a first cousin that my mother never even knew she had. My mm -hmm. grandfather was one of 13. Oh, geez. So there's a yeah. lot of family. There's a lot of cousins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he started telling us almost word for word the same stories that my grandfather oh, told. so interesting. And it was only after he had passed away that we realized that all of those things that he told that we thought was just Irish Blarney were the absolute truth. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So what are you working on now? And uh, we hope... The next book. <laughs> the next book. Okay. Um, I think I have finally, well, I have finished a young adult novel. Oh, wow. Cool. Well. My, well, my daughters, I have two daughters, and they got tired of me writing things that they're not allowed to read. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> um, and, and I wanted to do something that they could really, with a strong female character that they okay. could look up to and, and sure. emulate. So I did that, and my agent has that, and we'll see how that goes. Okay. And, I, and I've just kind of decided on the next novel that I'm going to write. And, I, you know, I've started it, and yeah. there's, there's okay. a shape of it, but I haven't gotten too far on it oh, yet, okay. so I'm working on that. Well, Kevin, thank you so <laughs> much. Oh, thank you. And we can't thank you enough until the next time. I absolutely love the book, oh, and I know so many people will, too. I hope so. Thank you. Wow, what a fantastic new novel by author Kevin Fox. It's called Until the Next Time. Back to you, Jen. Thanks, Becky. If you're interested in the full interview with Kevin Fox, visit our website at nctv17.com for a list of airtimes.